Well, today's Friday, and it's uh, 5.30, and i just been spinning my wheels yet again. I've been listening to Tony Robbins. I've been really getting motivated and, and stuff that I need to be doing. And when I got home from work, I started doing things, and I wanted, one of the things I wanted to do was I have a lot of old videos, DVDs and VHS videos. And one of the videos that I really wanted to find was dressing, Dress to Thrill. It was an event in 1998, I believe. And Dee Devontes was one of the acts and for, 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 Versatile Fashions did a fashion show. It was a weekend event in Vegas. And it was awesome. And I, it was a two, I think it was DVD or VHS, I'm not sure, but it was a two disc set that I never opened and I and I was in it because uh, we did a um, like award show but it wasn't the fetish award show I think it was called the bondage et or the fetish et awards because Mike Frankovich who was a friend of mine he's dead now um, Mike Frankovich jr. in fact he worked on the Prince movie uh, Purple Rain and he worked on Wonder Woman uh, he he had a lot to do with it and it was a really cool event. It was a fetish event, and it was like everyone dressed up in latex. It was just a big fetishy week weekend in Vegas. And I didn't think anything of it, you know, because it's like I had these, I had the video, and I'm, as you know, I've been kind of cleaning out. However, uh, <laughs> not really. I mean, I mean, look at this is just one of my many closets and <laughs> I also have a garage filled of stuff and and I just feel like I'm spinning my wheels and I've been wanting to clean out stuff and <sighs> it's just I can't explain it right now I'm editing I'm, tr I'm going through a VHS tape and it's taken a lot of time and as I'm watching it and I'm just I'm just spinning my wheels and I just need to just do it. Now it's the weekend, so it's really hard to do anything on the weekend because everyone has plans doing stuff like that. And then Monday is my grocery haul and I go back to work and I just never have time. And today I had the time, but I spent all my time looking for this video that I really believe I think I threw out. But I'm still gonna be looking through it. And now I'm motivated more than ever to clean things out. But tomorrow's a big birthday weekend for one of my friends. And so, I don't know. I wish I had boxes. I wish I had lots of boxes. And I would just be throwing things out right now. <laughs> I can't get comfortable. <sighs> but then also, now I'm scared now to throw anything out. Because I threw out something I think that would really be valuable. And it would have been really great on YouTube. Because... Uh, Mistress Antoinette, I guess she has Alzheimer's now, so she's not around that much anymore. And they had really cool fashions. And I looked on YouTube, no one has it. The last Dress to Thrill event was in 1997. And I can't find it. And I think I threw out something that was really valuable and really cool. So if anyone has <laughs> footage of Dress to Thrill Vegas, I think it was 1998. I'm pretty sure it was 1998, if not 1999. Maybe 1999? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe I will find it. I'm just really stressed. And it was a good day at work because I was listening to Tony Robbins. I was getting all motivated. I was going to do so much today. But basically, I just spent the whole afternoon looking for something that I could not find. And I found a few... VHS tapes and DVDs. The only thing is when you transfer them, it takes so long because I have to play them in real time, transfer them to this app that I have on my computer, and then I got to um, edit and produce them and then transfer them in a file on my computer, and then I got to take that and then edit it down to, uh, it's just a lot of work. And I'm going to get back to it right now. And uh, I just wanted to express my frustrations and I'm hoping I find that video because it was really cool it had been really cool to share with you uh, that event because that was a really cool event I think that was the last dressed 
to thrill event that uh, Mistress Antoinette did. That was the last one, I believe. And I think I threw it out. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I'm so mad at myself. You have no idea. It's been a while. Clyde's back to playing squiggle ball. Oh. Can I play too? Can I play too? Can I play soccer with it? Although me playing soccer with sandals, not good. I stubbed my toe really good yes, or the other day. Oh, so I'm one of the few people that really love spinach. Oh, I love spinach. And I add it to my cottage cheese with a little tahini. And now I'm going to dip some crackers in it. New stuff came from Amazon. This looks really faded. But I got an Elvis cat suit. I can't wait to wear it at the Elvis festival this weekend. And my new jelly sandals came in. I wish I had these for FetishCon. Look, remember these? They're on Amazon. I got them my size, size five and a half. I, I also bought the high heel jelly sandals, which have been perfect for dresses. God, I remember these. These are awesome since I don't wear high heels anymore. Go to my YouTube channel. Crazy. Clyde had to go to the ER. He had to get rushed to the ER yesterday. It was really sad. By the way, Casey Nestat's okay. I was worried because I know Casey Nestat and his wife is in Italy and that big earthquake, but he's fine. He's all right. I still need to do a Lay's taste test video. I think Roy wants to do it with me, but should I get another co-star? Who wants to do this with me? Anxious. I'm so excited. My plumeras finally bloomed. I've only had these plumeras for like 15 years. It's about friggin- Is it chicken time? Whoa! Is it chicken time? Chicken time. Is it chicken time? Choke that chicken, Clyde. Choke it. Uh, what are you doing? Find out what's in my Ipsy bag. Find out. And Clyde to the beach. He loves the beach. My little beach bum. He got so dirty at the beach. He had to go clean off in his pool. Dirty boy. New thing from Amazon came in. Yes, I'm addicted. Yes, I'm, I got high heel jellies. Remember these? Clear. I didn't really want the glitter, but for size five and a half, all they had is this. They have uh, beige and black that I really want, but they don't have them in five and a half. Oh my God, yes, these are everything. They're not buckled up tight. I just threw them on. I cannot wait to wear these out. Life. I got heels, they're multiplying, and I'm losing control, cause jellies, I am. There he goes. Taking Clyde skateboarding. It's been a while since he skateboarded, so. Streets are only closed for so long, so we're escape. <laughs> Go. Uh, no, whoa, be careful. There you go. Until you stop. Right in the pool. That skateboard was so slobbery. So much slobber on the skateboard. I don't know if anyone remembers this, but Dita did a fetish video called Slick 
city. And I have it. I always wondered why I didn't go anywhere, but I guess she won the rights to it to not have it out. But I remember going, th I've been going through all my old DVDs. In fact, I think I threw out what I was really looking for, which I'm really upset. <sighs> like the one I was really looking for is Dressed to Thrills, this latex um, thing that I was in and I'm like, I can't find it. Well, today was a little bit of spinning my wheels. I spent almost the whole day just going through the garage trying to find a certain video that I wanted to find. And I could not, well, I could not find it. I think I might have thrown it out. And this video was really cool that I wanted to share with you on YouTube. It was really cool. It was an event that I did in back in 1998 with Dita Von Tees. It was called Dress to Thrill. It was in Vegas. Mistress Antoinette, one of her it was a double DVD. It was a whole weekend event full of latex. It was like a fetish event in Vegas. Mr. Antoinette was there. There was fashion shows, award shows. Anyway, part of me hopes I did not throw it out. I just can't find it. But I am spinning my wheels because I need to clean out things so bad. I just need to get some boxes. I need a lot of boxes because I was looking at things. I'm like, if I had a box, I would throw this in a box right now and call the Salvation Army if I had a box. At least one good thing, I spent the last two hours, um, I guess, uploading this one video, and now I'm editing it, and pre but it's too risque for YouTube. I'm going to have to put it on my website. Yes, Vintage Bonded, Stacy Burke, back. Clips for sale. He's in his pool again. He was playing too hard. He gets overheated. My poor baby. I just got done seeing a really good band called Uncle Monkey or something like that. And I was just telling them, maybe you guys don't even know this, but you probably know that, you know, yeah, I used to date Ricky Rackman and all that kind of stuff on um, the cat house. But I used to work for a, um, a promoting company. Okay, I'll tell you this thing. You can't see me. Okay, I don't know if you can see me because I can't get the flash to work, but I used to work for management company, Kaleidoscope Entertainment. I worked for Big Brother and the Holding Company, which was Janis Joplin's band, and I worked for Strawberry Alarm Clock. I worked for... Um, of course, Wild Child. I worked for all the bands like they were popular in the 60s. They were trying to make a comeback in the 90s. I went on tour with them. Canned Heat is another one. And just sitting with that band right now, just like, um, I don't know if you're even seeing me. But it was. I actually kind of have a hangover from last night from just one glass of wine. I forget that wine is stronger when you drink the good stuff instead of the box. <laughs>